Lifestyle wagon. Big up on yourself, you know. Where has the road taken us today? Well, for this episode, trust me, nice vibes, nice energy. I just want to say big up to the ATL Automotive team and the Sandals team for having us for this weekend. So we'll be doing a review on the new ATL body shop and trust me fams, I'm looking forward to it. It's a state of the art, very modern and we'll be getting to know what they do, what services they offer and all of that type of stuff. So then we'll just pull up the sandals right now. Let me just give you a quick look. Yeah, they don't know we drive the beams and thing like that. So yo, I'll give you guys a tour tomorrow in the day but yo, it's the first time coming here and it should be a good experience, you see what I'm saying? So what? 20? Mad! Give you guys a quick look at what's going on oh, Nice, good vibe, mini bar and thing The champagne and strawberry Mad! Yeah! Mad! So let's start, I'll show you guys tomorrow's view so for now closing out respect nice. yeah man skunk lifestyle big up yourself every big time up, big up big up yes man top of the morning skunk lifestyle big up yourself you don't know so today's the day we'll be heading out to the atl automotive new body shop i'm gonna tell you i'm excited so i want to take you on a journey with us today because you don't know the vibe yo the staff at sandals is woo like trust me excellent service so far food is good and the vibe is nice so yo watch the vibe now so i don't want to make this too long so you don't know we're gonna stop at top shine auto spa first in reading then we'll head to the atl body shop because i don't know machine look dirty may i show you how it look jano star so after cruising down from kingston yesterday trust me look on the front of the car so you know sir but there are girl Tigger Bay right now. I got a link up with Top Shine, Landy and Omi. You see me? But yo, we can't roll around the city look so dumb. And then we have a top top body shop. You see me? So let's go. Yeah, that's it. So let's pull up right now. Hey, where do I have a place? What up, what up, bro? What up, what up? What up there? I will have a vibe. I don't know how much it happens. I'm big up the Top Shine Auto Spa. You don't know the vibe. Pass through right out already, Nessa. Right up for the meeting. Big up, big up, big up, big up. But there, you know, how you do? You don't know I'm a get the match to Respect the support. You know, I'm a trend set already, you know, so we're there. Everything good? Everything good, man. We're there, just go and take it easy, wash some car, do some work, and all of that stuff. You know, we have the best top, best car wash in Amobi right now. Best ambience, everything, so. Big up for the support always. Yeah man, which part of your final now? We're right on the highway going, we're in ready to mount the base. So when you pass ATLO by Bog, going towards the grill, we're right beside MVP Smokehouse. You can type in Top Shine Auto Spa on Google. We're listed there, you can find us right there. We're there every day. We never ever close. Big up yourself. All right, big up yourself. Big up in there, man. Yeah, man, up top, Nick. Top up shine. top, man. One Good love, brother. Yeah. yeah. Lifestyle, so you don't know. Big up to Top Shine again. This is the top of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Landy, Landy, buy the car from me. Hey, it's sell. <laughs> it's sell. Carl, I don't tell him to need a new one. We need a new one. So big up on the sell, Top Shine. You don't know. Right All right, lifestyle. So we literally just finished at Top Shine Auto Spa. Big up to yourself, Landy, and the entire crew. You don't know the vibe. So we're actually heading to the ATL Auto Body Shop right now. ATL Automotive Body Shop right now. And I'm telling you, this is going to be a vibe because when I tell you about state-of-the-art equipment, frame machines, color matching equipment, plastic welding, all of that type of stuff. But hey, let me not tell you much about it because you have to understand that 
they are the pros they are the ones that know it so we're heading there now to link pet and the entire crew so you know the vibe already we out all right lifestyle so basically here now we just turn off the bog highway so you don't know the vibe this is a new ATL automotive body works just pulling up I'm gonna link up with the guys now and see what's up all right so we're finally here we're gonna see what's behind us here I don't know the vibe let's see what the ATL automotive team is up to yeah lifestyle so I mean this is looking good so I'm gonna pick up a great friend here hi Nick welcome to ATL automotive bodywork and this is the best body shop in Western Jamaica and Jamaica on a whole welcome boss I can see that touch it Petrina <laughs> so pet I want you to introduce me to all of these equipments that you're going to have here but I heard Steve is a man right? Steve is a man Steve yes. is a man <laughs> the body man as they say yeah yeah man so my name is Steve general manager for ATL body shop group and let's proceed Christina said it is the number one place in Jamaica and I would say the number one place in the Caribbean so if you have a clip a dig a dent a rollover a scratch you come and see us and that's every make and model every make don't model. worry about our brands we welcome everyone funny enough you answered that question I was going to actually ask you that question you know no no we there's no discrimination in which vehicle you drive as long as it has four wheels two wheels six wheels eight or ten nice you bring it to us truck bus small bike car plane possibly <laughs> get it to land I know, mean I the beauty about this um, body shop yeah. is that we fix every make vehicles um, Steve is going to go, go into it we have plastic welding every technique you can t talk about yeah. we have it right here we have the training these guys are well trained and so they know the technical work inside out so come on down any car you have we invite you to ATL not only that the experience that you're going to get with the staff and the warm welcome you. nice <laughs> well we know that you guys stand for that yes right? definitely 100% so Steve let's start off by showing me the base what you want to start off with today you want to start with paints or panels first let's go let's go to the start when it first comes in we'll go to the panel site okay let's which go is there. top end of the shop okay so so when the vehicles actually arrive in basically to do, do the assessments right and then we're coming up to this particular area here drop the car up do an assessment on the vehicle making sure that we capture everything on our estimated software which we'll later go upstairs and we'll have a look at that which right. is a, a 3d system so we can turn the vehicles inside and out and around to look inside wow. and behind things so that's the technology we got so comes in car comes into here we'll then do the assessment once it actually comes from this side and we got the authority and the parts and everything else to come in yeah then you come over to the panel side here now here we have a lot of nice equipment as we call them yeah. we like to have big boys toys right. and the bigger the better yeah and one of the biggest ones that we have here is a body alignment jig so if your car has had a little bit of a severe accident right then we put it on this baby here this is like a frame machine this is the frame machine okay this is a frame machine not not, not a frame machine it's <laughs> the frame machine right z we partner with uh, a few companies um and as as most guys we like things from italy you know the cars other things yeah you know <laughs> i was gonna say spaghetti yeah. <laughs> not something else it was yeah. spaghetti yeah so we get the vehicles up we can download the measurements actually off the vehicles Whoa. okay so whichever car you're driving so any car you're anything actually driving like anything we want it lives in the cloud as they would say yeah so we can download all our information we put that information then into bracket systems yeah we put your vehicle actually up on you make sure it's all square and if it's not square we can put it back to what it should be square nice so that's the time nice. so no crab one. walking then right no 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 crabbing no, no, no. That's not allowed around your neck. No problem. No, 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 no driving like this. Yeah. No, no sideways. Yes. Yeah. Sideways. Like no, our cars lead straight. Yeah. So once we've gone through this, and this is it's, um, it's a nice frame machine. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Well, oh, sorry. The frame machine. The. Sorry. We like to say sorry. the. My apologies. Right. My apologies. In the global jig, not this Jamaican colors. Okay. 
clustered. Right, this is oh. where the technology goes. So oh, all the these little bits of are. yes, all these fittings are very, very important. Nice. Um, yeah, man, I told him it was world class. You know, one thing with you guys, you know, world um, class. What yes. what you'll find in the body shop is that we have every tool right. for every make, every equipment. So don't worry when you come here. No, we're not Your worried. car will can't be taken worry. care of and driving oh, well, out. We, we, yeah. <laughs> you will be driving out based on your manufacturer's spec. So Repeat you get part. based on the manufacturer's spec. That's how we fix, repair the car. That's on the word, you know. That's the, so word, the word. Every time. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you stand on that word, you see? We'll no, it's true. Fix. Jamaica Thanks, definitely Nick. needs Thanks, this, you know. Thank you. Jamaica oh, definitely Thank needs you, Nick. This, Thank you. Know, you. Trust me. <laughs> because, you know, it's not that, way, not that we're putting on anybody, but we oh. still need certain standards and, and qualities. And it, 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 it's always our people that makes the difference. Yes. When you come into our shop, it's the people, it's the staff, it's the team. That is here, the management team, the Definitely. line staff, is what makes the difference. And that is why we are always going above and beyond. Well, I can tell you, I'm staying at Sundowns and the staff is here is wonderful. And, and it's, it's the same on the side of the it's fence. The the but this, this is our sandals. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a work, look at it, this is a workshop. A beautiful sandals. workshop, guys. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. We yes. have well, the assessment yes. bay over yes. there. This is the frame bay over here. Yeah. And as we go along, Steve is going to tell us what the other bays are for. So right here we have the... This is basically a small pulling system. Yeah. Um, so we can actually just straighten up small repairs. Okay, so nice. instead of replacing a quarter, yeah. we're just going to do the repair, making sure this arch is actually back in the correct position. Yeah. And then we can actually move then from here, we can then move this vehicle so in down it, into it, the paint shop. it's not the days of banging the car. Right. It's no. using the equipment and the technology that exists yes. to straighten it. Alright, right. Te technology. <laughs> this is what we call technology and training wins at all costs. Question So, the, all the techs they get certified training on Yes, stuff, yes, right? we do a lot of training here. We just had um, a paint company, now PPG, who we partner with, mm -hmm. another big company that we like to have like a blue chip surrounding with ourselves. Yeah. They came over for a complete week's training with our painters here. Um, they've just been certificated now uh, with their paint certificates. Those certificates last for two years, yeah. and then after the two years in, they have a refresher, they have to go through the training again. It's not like we trade and we say, stop. It's going to be continuous, continuous, continuous. So every two years, they come over and they have to do the same sort of examination, Lovely. painting. And we'll take you down to That's the paint really. That's great, as well for the, for the staff, you know, it's, it's basically self-development. So you have probably staff coming in here with a certain level and now they're on another level. That's it, and we do a So we, 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 we actually have an apprenticeship program going yeah. where we actually work with hard trust nice. and um, what's the name NVT of that? Tech. NVT Tech, Tech yeah. to bring them up to this level and that. not only that to give them the experience because as you know right now for body work paint panelists and, and things they are short now in Jamaica right. so we need, our young we need people those from technical skills yeah. here in Jamaica. So basically you're not showing no young person that willing to no. learn it. No. No. Once you have a certain no. level of qualification. And, 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 and as we always say at ATL and you mentioned Sanders, yeah. it's that once you have the right attitude and mindset, everyone is training. Nice. You everyone hear that? is training. So listen, any all the young subscribers, if you want to get into this field, they're not showing you. Once you have the right mindset and attitude, there's a space this for you. This is the place for you to be. We Love can, that. We can, we can train it. We can get you into senior technicians, master techs. And then it's like when you see, when you look at what's actually on the YouTube scene at present time with the different um, repair shops and things like that. That can be them in the future. Yes. You know, they don't, yeah. you don't have to stay, stop building yes. and brand in Jamaica. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Love that. So, so we need you can dream right here. Yes. And make it happen. And make it happen. They can, we can, they can do it. They can, they can do it. We love and training. guess what? I like Steve personally. Of <laughs> yeah, Steve, Steve, you're nice to, 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 to be there. It's right. nice. Big boy toys. Okay, so what is this, this one? This is like something you want to do in like Arnold oh, Schwarzenegger. Is it? <laughs> Hold on, eh? All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> you don't, you don't need FLA with this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it comes with its own back. Right, and this is this is a spot welding machine. Okay, spot welding machine. Oh, your, your spot welds actually on your vehicles. Okay. Let, let me show you what a spot weld is. Okay, so this is spot welding. Spot welding. Okay. See how it's normal, nice, nice, a nice spot weld? Yeah. That comes from the factory. Okay. So the factory has got a machine, it yeah. just goes like this, clamps, 
and then welds together. So when we put, say we had to put a new panel in here, we would have to put a panel in like this. Yeah. With all those spot welds. Right. And the machine you have to have is, is, the, this, terminator. is the little terminator there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inverter spot welder. It's an inverter. Okay. So that's yeah, right. basically it there. Right. So the, the metal would be sitting in there. This moves forward, creates the weld. Nice. What you never do, put that there. Otherwise, if you put that there, press trigger, you end up with like that there. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, we don't do things like that. Yeah, my this is a MIG welding machine. Okay. But also, it does aluminium as well. Huh? All right, so you've got a light phase here. So when so you're the, actually the, welding. The key to this MIG is to ensure that once you're using this, Nerd. the safety gears must be worn at all times in the shop. That's Woo! the tear <laughs> So you got two lances, yeah. one red, one blue, right. blue aluminium, red steel. So blue is aluminium, yes. red is steel. So we have aluminium vehicles, remember. Right. And we still have to fix aluminium vehicles. Yes, and that's you know? very important because normally if an aluminium panel is damaged, you'd normally quote unquote change it, but with you guys you can repair no, it. No, we can repair it. But also yeah. because of the, the new generation of equipment now, these lances used to be really heavy. Right. Now this is like a pen. Feel how light this is. You weld with it. Nice. Well, I don't know to weld, but I understand. No, but you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can teach you. When you like to come up, we yeah, can teach I'll you. Quite all right. I get some lessons. Why not? So this is basically our little plastic repair. Machine. Don't look carefully now with that thing. I'm joking. <laughs> now this is our little plastic repair machine. Okay. See how small it actually is. Yeah. And there's the electrodes actually at the top. Okay, so, so this is for like plastic welding. Yeah, we have plastic welding, put clips in. And they're all different, look. See that one there? Yeah. So we all would... All depends on the damage. Yeah, the, the probes go on here. That then melts itself actually oh, into the bumper. Okay. I understand yeah. now. I understand. So, totally understand. Actually, so you, the probes you, connect to this? Yes. Okay. So it actually pushes itself into the bumper. Yeah. So when the bumper is cracked, we can knit it back together. Right. Once we've knitted it together, and it gives it some... Um, stability right then we can actually fill it all in back fill it and nice. then off, off to the paint shop then so it's small but it's extremely good you know you have, the, you, have, you have the big the big equipment and something like this is so universally you know it's brilliant right. it's one of the best pieces of equipment and you have, have, you have, have. techs that know how to use it every so. one of them gets trained very fast on this because they like to use it okay because once you can use that you do all the repairs to the okay, vehicles nice. So this is awesome guys, um, we pretty much have everything lined out for us, you see like the assessment with the alignment, the assessment there over that side shows that this alignment, the fabrication over here, so we're going over to the paint shop side now. So we're going to the paint shop side now right? So we use the appraisal center as well when we do the estimates, Right. so if we want to get the car out to the sun and things like that we just pull up the doors. Nice. So now here comes the paint center, notice panel paint. So right. we got them separate. Okay. We don't so body work and stuff happening body there. Body work down there. Right. Clean area. Clean. So this is a spray area mm. now. Customization, customization, perfect. That way. Outside we have, we do not wet sand. Right. Everything is dry sanded and it's sucked away. So we use dry sanders, cleaner, with a disc attached to it. Yeah. We basically sand down the panel. Yeah. No, there's no dust. Yeah. That's gone. Yeah. No dust. Don't create, nice. don't, don't create any dust here. Now we have two of these. So it's a dustless sander basically. Yes, uh, well, well, yes, yeah, dust in dustless sanding procedures we yeah. should say. We don't we don't like the we don't like water. Mm -hmm. We don't like dust because it's a paint shop. Right. So the thing is we invest in Festo. Uh, yeah, that's systems. Um, basically, it is like a big vacuum dryer with a sander attached to it. Yeah. We also have those up in the panel shop as well for the panel technicians. Okay. So when they run rubbing down their body filler, yeah, it's all dust everywhere. It's all sucked up and gone. Nice. Also good for health and safety. Yeah. What paint is one of these sucking in dust? If there is no dust, the environment is nice, it's clean. It's nice to work in. Definitely. So I can I can sand down in here look. Yeah. I don't get dust on me. Yeah. Sort of thing. So once all that is done. Sweet. So these are the prep booths. Prep booths. Preparation. So now we're gonna go in there and we're gonna do some painting in that side like primer. Or we're gonna just do dry sanding. 
but also now these are the preparation booths so we put everything in here before we go into the big girl at the end. Okay, so that's the big girl on yeah, there. Over there. This is the prep room. Nice. Another Italian. Italian. U Italian USA Italia. Italia. We like Italian. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Ferrari, Lamborghini. Definitely. You know, we notice in here the light. The light is very, very nice. It's yeah. about I think we got it in about 900 lux in here. Okay. Which is perfect and everything else there. But also you see the next door now. Yeah. Try and find the shadow. Very little shadows around. Right. You're teaching me something as I go along. Yeah, so this is the plastic bag. So the aim of it is not to see any shadows when you're walking the light. Because yeah, once there's shadows, there's darkness. Yeah. This is where we've actually just primed. So that was come out of that screen, that prep room there. That was so now. This one was in the prep room. So yeah. it's primed now, right? Yeah, it is the primer. Yeah. See that dark gray there? Yeah. So, so the we're, just gonna, we're just going to sand that up. Right. And then they'll clean, re clean the masking. And then it's going to do. Next door. Next door. Yes, in here. Gorgeous. Yes, the Italia. This is a nine meter spray booth. Okay. Um, in here. Really the, loving it. All and the nice lighting. said that you can ma pretty much match any color. Anything you want. Anything you want. We would even try to match that wrap that you have on your car. Well, what is this? Yes, yes man. You could, you could. I'd give it a go. Yeah, you give it a go. You give it a go. There's a lot of chameleon in there, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it's like, but we we got some pearls and things like that. We can we can we can do the paint finishes. So we're kind of custom paint then. Yes, sir. that's the next the Level. levels we want to start to get to. Yeah. You know, once you once you're proficient at doing the basics. You know, then we can start doing the other training because one of the trainers we had over from PPG, he's um, a customization specialist. Yeah. And he started to show the guys a few little bits and pieces, and then he was like, "Oh, they forgot the training. Oh, no, I want to be a custom painter." Yeah. So they would say, "Oh, no, 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 you have to go back that way," because he's, you know, Mr. Jones come over, fantastic, fantastic training session we had. You know, it, you know, the energy that that guy brought. Right. You know, and and he. <laughs> The amount of knowledge that he has, right. and it's, it's just like a book. Just ask me anything, and I'll tell you anything. Sort of thing. So, I think we might be able to get one of the guys in now to complete this particular job by here. Yeah. So this is like we can put in this nine meters long. Nine meters long, right? Okay. Yeah. So you just clear the panel a while ago. That was good. Okay. Quick and fast. So when, when you come in for your first training session then? Soon. Yeah, soon? Yeah, I have to go and talk to the guys and see if I can get a room down my standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You better do that, right? But Nick, I quickly want to introduce you to yeah. one one of our team members, right. Craig Wayne, right? He's a workshop um, supervisor. Craig, we don't lifestyle. <laughs> I'm the man behind all of this. Loving it. Loving it, trust me. We really needed something like this for Jamaica, so you know, you tell top notch. Yeah, you know, we're moving forward, so that's a good thing, and we're keeping the standards up. Definitely. Yeah. There's a, there's okay, a... so Steve, you said that you partner with PPG, right? Yeah, PPG. Right? So yeah. you have your, mo your, your own mixing plant here. The own mixing bank is actually here with Kevin. He's uh, one of the members of PPG. Right. And then, uh, introduce you to Kevin and his, and his shop in here. Yes, Ken. Hi, Kevin. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Oh, bigger, 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 bigger. Yes, but I'm here to take a look at your, your little mixing lab right here. No problem. Because I get to understand that you guys have your own mixing lab. So you can color match everything. Everything. Now, to get the, the, the paint, yeah. form enough for whatever shade you want. Right. We try and mix a silver for a Kia. Right. So we we'll come here and I get code this. Okay, so you're adding the code now for this, right? Yeah. Okay. Using PPG Global Base Code. Right. There we go. That's a formula. Right here is ounces, so the 24 ounces. Okay. That's pant and off. And then this is what comes out. Nice. That's everything. And I see that key that you're working on outside. Yeah. That's so the pretty one. much you guys don't have to leave here to go get paint home. Huh? But I'm sure it's safe at the art, so you wouldn't have to do that. Right. And it's all PPG products. Everything. Respect again in a few Yeah, but no problem, Nick. Yeah, man. Right. Yeah, so Love what you guys do. It. This love is, what you guys 
Yeah, so we like partner with some like really good, really good uh, companies that support us well. Yeah. And and these guys rely on a hundred percent. And if they can't help us, then it is there's nothing we can't do. Because once these guys say, "Yep, we can do it," like we're now bringing in the new um, matte clears. Yeah. Uh, they've just come onto the market. Before we had to tint clears down to make them matte yeah. to get that matte finish. But now we can just spray down base coat spray down the um, two coats so your matte finish job done speaking of the matte clears there's a lot of cars coming matte now so the thing is i mean even a new ga to m3 comes with the the ice blue right so yeah we can we can match them now the frozen blue because once you got once you had the matte clears we're okay before it was extremely difficult yeah because our our matting agent once you put it into a product it would keep on aging right and aging so what was happening our paint would age quicker than the manufacturers paint on there but now with the new product and the new technology because paint is technology paint yeah. is paint is like liquid gold technology and the new matte clears now we can just lay down the base coat lay down the matte clear job good done go. finish good, good to, to go. go good gone so yes steve what are you saying to me now you're going to introduce me to who we're going to introduce you to two very, very, very important people of our team. Amir, our estimator, and we have Jordan, who's our parts technical specialist. Yeah. So, if you'd like to come through to your office. So, who we have here? This is Amir. And what, what's your role? My, my role is estimator. I'm the estimator for the body shop. So, pretty much, are you getting the price? Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> you get the price. You do the That's timing, cool. the work, <laughs> all of that type of stuff? Right, we do the yeah. Okay, so... I see you have a system here. What's yeah, our system, system is Auditex. It basically gives you everything you need on the vehicle. What is on the vehicle, what you really want mm -hmm. to remove and replace from the vehicle. Right. The parts that you will really need, where I would have to accommodate all the parts here. So basically, I'm doing one now, where I need the mirror cover. Right. So I'd have to repair the, replace the mirror cover, which is the right-hand side mirror cover yeah. of the vehicle. Nice, so people, anytime you see him, you know, no matter killing him, because sometimes things take time. Yeah, you know, very so much so. The system does everything for you. Yeah, it does everything. Pricing and material. Pricing material, um, paint, um, the hours for the gentlemen and downstairs, right. because they are the ones that get the job done and get it out very well. But they really need me to help them out so that they can get the jobs out. So bro, you do all of this, wanted parts. You ever sit down and make call, make call for parts too? No, well I have my best friend over here, Parts Department. Parts! Oh, come on! Hey, what's up? John, what's up? So, tell me your role now. Yeah hey, man, well I'm basically their parts technical specialist. Anything regarding the vehicle, whether that be, you know, from a small washer to the biggest part, biggest panel on the vehicle, I can find it here using my system. Yeah. So that's my role here at the body shop. Jeez, I'm pissed. I'm supposed to go on night time when I dream of clip front, <laughs> front bump, and back bump, and all them type yeah, of thing. I can, anything I want, I can find it for you. Nice. So this is Jordan, right? Yeah, Jordan. Jordan, so he's a part specialist. So yo, you, the job here is really technical though, bro, because yeah, it's, not, it's not just a walk in the park. No, it's not. So I said earlier, you guys repair every brand. Every brand. If you want to spray a motorcycle, you will do it. Right away. Big up yourself. Big up. Respect. Lifestyle, I hope you guys like what's happening in the program so far. I'm going to actually speak with Petrina about the pricing and just overall what they plan for Kingston. I want a Kingston body shop to you know, you see me? So <coughs> Moby we'll lucky enough to get one, but we we'll want one in Kingston. It, it, it's definitely Moby blessed to have one, <laughs> to have a super boss like Mr. Adam Stewart. Definitely. To really invest over 3 million US to put this facility up nice. in Western Jamaica. Nice. So, you know, stereotype may have it that, you know, because it's a dealership, it's ATL, it's super expensive. Surprise, surprise, it's not. We are very, very much affordable to everybody. So we appeal to everyone with their car, you can come in. We can make it happen for you. Come and discuss it with Craig. You, you interviewed him earlier, yeah. Jordan and um, Amir. We will make the dream work for you. And I just want to remind you, Jamaica, this is your one-stop shop, ATL Automotive Body Works. We have our service center, we have our showrooms, and most of all, we have the people that makes it happen for you. Pets, thanks <laughs> for taking time out today. I really appreciate it. I you know the vibe already. If anything happens to any one of the cars, which I don't really want, but if it happens, 
We, 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 we have it, um, and thank you for passing through. Love the energy. Keep up the good work. Man himself, Steve Kiss. What is it now? <laughs> Bad boy. Bad boy. <laughs> yeah, man. man. You know, it's been a great, great for you to actually pass through. Um, giving us a good opportunity to actually show you our facility, show you what is capable and what, you know, with the support, say, of our chairman, yeah. CEO, at Mr. Big Adam Stewart. This is what we can actually deliver. And it is all about for us supporting Jamaica. And as mentioned earlier on, you know, we want to see the youngsters coming through. I want to see lady technicians. Lady technicians. Lady definitely. technicians, lady painters, lady panel technicians. You, you know, know it's, only, it's, only, it's, not, it's not really a man thing as well. You no. know, it's all out there. We want to see the ladies. We do as well. But we want to see the young talent of Jamaica coming through our doors, are giving, are giving us the opportunity to train them and then to develop them, develop us, and develop in Jamaica. Respect again. Thank you. Lifestyle, trust me, we love what ATL Automotive Body Works is doing for Jamaica, for the youths. So listen, remember, you know, peeps, if you have a vehicle that's damaged, it don't matter the brand. State-of-the-art equipment is here for you. So let's roll through Polar Vibes. The team is nice. Big up Skunk Lifestyle Farms right now. We're closing out this segment. Big up on the you know. Skunk Lifestyle. Big up, big up, big up. Yo, big up. Big up. Guitar. Yeah, man, you're up here, man. Get them dead money. Big up, skunk, skunk. Big up, guys. Love in the place. Love in the car. Respect. Well, I got to do something without well, Yeah, man. Well, so, yo, fans, this is Sea Island Beach Club. It's right on the Mobile Strip. So, you guys can actually check it out. You see me? Right here on the strip. Just look it up. Sea Island Beach Club. So, you don't know. Just pass through to get Ryan and Lincoln. Um, it's polar vibe. Skunk lifestyle walk. Go on. You don't know the vibe. So, we're jumping into another segment now. Yo, y'all could remember maybe about two to three months ago. We saw that Range Rover with the... Jay-Z motor in it well guess what we're linking up with the owner today we're gonna find out where that inspiration came from what the vibe of that bill is all about and yo and you know what are the future plans for that machine yeah so we just reached our location now we need the owner here now oh this what's going on bro what's going on bro G big up big up big up what's up what are you name? Drizzy yeah, man. So, Drizzy, yo, most people know me as. So, what y'all going now? From the video drop by Instagram. Pop the hood, yo. Pop the hood. Two days, no shit. It's been going viral, right? I mean, people, the first question people go on me for now is what inspiration for it from? <laughs> Alright. Funny enough, right? Yeah. We never necessarily want nobody know about the project. Right. But I posted that posted it on my personal page. Yeah. And a friend of mine shared it to somebody and somebody posted the video. You know what I mean? And from that it just gone viral. And from that literally just uh, blew. But um funny you should say everybody basically you know going crazy about the range of the 2J actually have an RDQ 7 three years now with a 2 Jay-Z in it what, but no, what yeah nobody would know about it because most of my projects I have a lot of cars most of my projects I just enjoy them for myself I'm not really with the I mean I don't do car shows I don't do the whole hype I just enjoy yeah. you know everything for myself so if it's, if it's, if it wasn't for one of my friends dropping the video yeah probably wouldn't even know about this project no I wouldn't. Maybe, maybe people would see it and just think okay it's a new Range Rover maybe it have performance mods on it yeah. you know what I mean but I mean you know as a car enthusiast to a lot of people that love the build yeah I don't mind sharing it 
you know? So what's the, what's the inspiration behind putting the 2JC in the range? Because some people might have it said, boy, they might think it's cheaper, but they're, they probably don't know that it's actually Definitely more expensive. That. Yeah. All right, so this range actually bought it to do strictly off-roading. Okay. So I did a lot of off-roading for like two years with it. And um, I was getting some oil starvation issues, which I could have fixed easily. Yeah. But I just, um, I had the range park up for like close to a year. Yeah. And literally, you know, I come out one morning and I said, all right, what am I going to do with that? I'm going to put a 2JZ in tonight. Yeah. But the thing is though, I have a Supra Mark II right. 1JZ engine in my garage. Yeah. So I call my mechanic now, which is a friend of mine, and I say, yo, let's build this engine to put in. Literally now, we, 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 we build up the engine and everything. I even bought the single turbo yeah. to put on, on it. Right. So I'm just clicking on my head and I say, yo, why don't you, why you just go crazy on it? And I literally call up a friend of mine. I know him sell a lot of uh, 2JZ and 2JZ parts, Euro parts. Yeah. Call him up and I say, yo, you have any 2JZ? He say, yo, I have one from a project, you know. But here, well, you see, you as a man will support my business because yeah. I buy a lot of parts from him. Right. Um, Mega Gear the 2 JZ. And he's out of the Mark IV Supra, come twin turbo. Yeah. You know, he can put 800 horsepower up on the block. Yeah. You know, he can put it up to 600, out, 600 without internals. Right. So, we say, yo, I'm going to put it in the van and put a thousand horsepower up on it. Right, I <laughs> So, alright. Because so here what happened now. Yeah. The reason why I even took out the RDQ7 engine, it had 500 horsepower on it and it was coming from Mobe. Right. I was coming from a business meeting in Mobe and a Tundra TRD run up on me, wicked. Yeah. I man said, no man, this too close now man. Yeah, yeah, After yeah, my yeah. upgrade pulley, because it came supercharged. Right. That's how I put the 2 JZ in the RDQ7. And that's how I got the inspiration to put the 2 JZ in this. Yeah. Because I said, all right, this come to in turbo, but you know, I range it not really, you know, I yeah. clap like that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But myself, I'm deep on the road and I'm like, try me. God! <laughs> How much power are we looking at now? Well, it's just the stock setup in it okay. with the twin turbo. So, I mean, stock power, which it come 290 something. Okay, you're not ready to start um, pulling with it. Actually, I have everything for it already. Okay. For bring it up to about 800 to 1000. Um, I had the turbo in the back. I actually took it out because I was driving it around this weekend. Yeah. And then I saw where I got leaked. So, um, the next time when I stop and I pull it down, yeah. is to literally take apart the twin turbo, put on the single turbo. Right. So I work one and I have on it, SX series. Nice. And um, you know, big plasma man intake and you know the whole works. Yeah. What we do with that 2JZ and just light up the tire them even more and enjoy it. Yeah man. As I say, you know, I'm I'm, I'm kinda like a private person, you know, it's because the thing don't blow up already. Yeah. And some close friends of mine say, yo, feature the thing. I appreciate it. <laughs> so I appreciate it because I know a lot of people are really too fond of the camera, but I really appreciate it because you have to remember it's still inspiration for younger people, you know? That is the thing. Yeah. So when I realized now a lot of people that are in the car world and them get inspired yeah. and they love the project and stuff. So you know Bro, you know, I have people from all over the world, you know. I met the best brother. If I want to carry away your need to get, I don't want to. I you know say that it's six speed box in it, six speed manual box. Well we're gonna fair pull. Yeah, so it's the, one it's the only one in the world right now. Two JZ with a six speed CF nice. manual box. Nice. So I can put the twin clutch when I'm ready for go a thousand yeah. and just slap it up on the road. And right. have a single clutch in it now because of the stock setup, exhaust just done, we custom wire everything. Who does the work for you? Just friends of mine. There's some friends of mine on my house. Can you show me the engine? Yeah. Yeah, man. Lifestyle, you see what I'm going on? We had to get it, you know, we had to get it because it's unique, it's a very unique car. I mean, it's front mount in the pool, as you can see on the front right here. And you know, it's just a very unique build, not something that you see on the norm. Has a two JG in it. So, 
juicy red. The juicy red. Yep. With the products. Red, red and blue. Red and blue. Man. See him blue, see him red. Check for the style. <laughs> so yo. Yeah, we're not doing teeth in, please. No man, one of them there, I'm going to get to see the Q5, right? Oh, the Q7. Yeah man. Q7, sorry. Yeah, yeah. man, yeah man. And I have other projects to them. Yeah. I mean, I have an 18, 800 wheel last for Subaru. It was behind this in the viral video. The white one? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. 800, we actually have built it for a thousand now. Okay. So, but these are the small personal projects, the, right? Just, just, just for, for fun. Just for fun. I have the, the BMW um, D7 that have the N54 twin turbo engine in it. Okay. A um, couple other projects I'm not really <laughs> mentioned. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got you a whole heap of cars, man. But the, the funny thing is, even if it wasn't this car yeah. for the two JZ, I had a G Wagon I was actually planning to swap. And it was, a, it was actually a 2019 G Wagon. But I sold it. But then you know, play. Yeah, man. So. That different level is. <laughs> I mean, we just have fun with it as usual. Just, you know, low key, but in you know, a time for share a project. So we just share a project. Bro, don't, don't look on it as hyping. Just look on it as inspiration, you know? Definitely. There's just a lot of ingenuity that happens in Jamaica that people don't know of. Facts. So that's what we're there for. Facts, facts. You know? Because as I said, I have the, I have the Q7 with the 2J three years now. Yeah. And I only mention it because the 2J is in this. But let's what? Let's go for a drive because people must want to see if we can drive. No problem, no problem. Right, big up. Cool. You don't know the vibe already. Go for a pull in it. Boy, I can't tell you. I get a lot of new first first in my life but I never driven in a 2JZ Range Rover before <laughs> so respect for that sir yeah man no problem it's a, it's, a, it's a good vibe to know that we're a part of something that as unique as this true yeah true. so this is just to basically show you that the vehicle actually drives the interior gauges e-brake so we're gonna do some stuff. drifting with it soon when you finish the pan thing. Yeah man. So yeah, what what, what the reception pan road like? I mean but for, okay, for, sure. for who know now. Listen. It's because the, the popular you know uh vlogs them that carry news yeah. actually post it yeah. everywhere we go man. Like this is a blast. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Them love it. Everybody, you know them love it. Yeah. Who don't love the colour? Love the engine. You know, who know, a lot of people don't know what a 2JZ engine is right. until they saw the video. They was like, what's the big deal with this? They did some research on this it. range and they realized, you know, because, you know, the 2JZ is an iconic engine. Right. But, you know, especially like for the women who basically don't know. Right. They're like, what's the big deal with this Range Rover with weird colors? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, most people that have Range Rovers, they don't do nothing to it, they just wash it yeah. and just drive it to the office. Definitely. You know, I've owned a lot of Range Rovers, I um, still own two others. Yeah. And when I'm, you know, going to business, I don't drive this one. No, this, <laughs> not, this would be like but, a weekend uh, vibe. Exactly, but, you know, this is the fun vibe. And I'm glad a lot of people can appreciate it. Yeah, man. Know? And, you know, definitely right. live to inspire. Yep. Definitely live to especially Jamaica. I mean, trust me, small island. Mm -hmm. I'm doing conversions, yeah. I follow a lot of car pages online. I love to see a lot of conversions. I've never seen none like this. No, I've never, uh, I've never 2019 seen none like this. Range Rover, new Range Rover. Nobody yeah. gonna touch a new Range Rover, but you're going to, you're going to <laughs> actually bust down a um. A G wagon. Oh yeah, man. Not a problem with that. <laughs> Not a problem with that, man. For me, material is material. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stock computer still, so the the ratio is very short. Yeah. So when we actually um final tune, yeah, I'm gonna put it on the AM Infinity. Yeah. I will basically get the power and the performance, the launch of the one, oh, everything. How long you say this conversion has been done now? Maybe like 
like five months. Five months, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're pretty much just in troubleshoot stages and stuff like that. So um, everything is basically done. Okay. Because I've mastered conversions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Long time we basically have been race cars, so to convert into any vehicle, any engine. You know what I mean? Where do you think you're going to go next as a project? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Because actually, I have some wild ideas. Some wild, wild ideas. Yeah, yeah. you did share one for I had one of the first Porsche 992s down here that really? I sold. Yeah. And I was super tempted to do an engine swap on it and put a K in it. <laughs> yeah. And the K24. You know, people right that say your imagination are wild, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man, I mean hey, you see if you can do it, yeah, I have the capacity. Right. But just glad to say the Lord bless me so we can basically you know do things that I want to do. Definitely live I life just, how you want to live life. Man, live life to the fullest man because trust me, the reason why I stay to myself is because you know too much negativity. When I told a virgin of mine I was gonna do this swap, he's like yo you're crazy. Yeah. You're gonna destroy uh Brand new Range Rover. Right. I'm gonna say to him, say yo, when you're in the grave and you regret, oh you're gonna feel about that worse. Exactly. Yeah man, so you know we, we we do things to enjoy life and to inspire. Right. You know that is the goal. I love that. You know, I no love hype, that. No show off, just you know, private at least, but at least you can say you did it. Yeah man for sure. And a, a lot more to come. Definitely. A lot more to come. You know, you know, life is about living and enjoying, you know what I mean? Definitely, bro. Good energy. And I want to say thanks again for taking time out, you know? It's always a pleasure. Not a problem at to all. To show off these machines. Not a problem at all. I'm just Go glad ahead. that more people can see it, get yeah. inspired. And, you know, let's let's see some good conversions out there. You know? Don't be afraid to touch the machine, though. It's just material stuff, trust me. The most important thing in life yeah. is to treat others good live love and just put god first and everything everything come after mad words profound yeah, words lifestyle that's what the program is all about showing uniqueness meeting new characters meeting new individuals and we're happy that we could bring this here first and trust me drizzy again big up from my subscribers i'm sure i'm going to be happy to see this and <laughs> you don't know you have number no joe you want big up oh yeah man big up my virgin um you know my and the mechanic on this uh, my virgin sterling him wire it up yeah you know what i mean um you know my, my, my two jay-z supplier we might drop him link you know it go <laughs> but we don't want nobody no, 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 no. Well, give it none. give it man give it yeah <laughs> but um you know every you know literally i did this in my garage you know just friends yeah people ask me if my shipping people you know for, for get it done no no just just guys that know a thing or two and we, we use up the YouTube and we just put together an amazing project the van drive perfect you know what I mean I drove it from Kingston Ochi drive it to Portland you know no issues we, we, we pretty much um, when we upgrade and update everything and finish the project it's gonna be like it's from the factory and when it's finished we'll do a follow up definitely man definitely thanks again so, bro yeah man bless up and to everybody out there Bless up on yourself. Yeah man, big up. Uh, Lifestyle, you don't know the vibes, we out. <sighs> Lifestyle, the trip is about to come to an end, right? I didn't get a chance to give you the overview of sandals. And to be honest with you, I'd prefer you guys to come here and experience it for yourself. But trust me, so far, the vibe is nice. The people are nice. The staff is, voila, excellent. is me? Big up to Anna K and the entire team here. Trust me, it was a great experience. I want you guys to experience it as well. So I'm just gonna show you some outside footage of the property. Not too crazy, I don't know. I don't wanna get into it too much cause I don't know our style already, but we're actually leaving here now and then we're heading out to go and link up with one of my little gen of them, you see me? One of my young subscribers, he heard that I was in Mobi and wanted to meet up. So yo, you don't know. It's called Farm Love, you see me? So we're heading there now. Yeah, let's just show you a quick overview of the outside and you know what the view is like as you can see a bright sunny beach day and we are on the waterfront you can see sandals is big on tourism and representing the caribbean so you see the, the flags over there it's 
So yeah, nice little vibe and things. Different, very relaxing. Staff is nice and <laughs> don't know people them down there so I play some volleyball, is it me? Yeah, lifestyle. So we just a pull up now, is it me? I do a little quick little surprise video for Luca. Is Luca or Lucas, whichever you don't know the vibe. So hello, touch it. What's going on? I'm good. How are you? I heard you've been trying to find out where I was, right? Yeah, I have on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, man. How is everything? It's good. Yeah, man. It's nice to meet you. You know. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> I love your car. You love it. Hey, how are you? Hi, mom. It's good to meet you. Big up. Yeah, man. This kid has been driving me crazy. What the, what he's been doing? He stalks your Instagram. He knows every car you've wrapped. He follows your movements all over the island. <laughs> <laughs> the first time you get to see the car in person, right? Yep. You like it? It looks so way you know better in here. person. How huh? you know it's in, it, in town? Instagram. Oh boy, so I literally took him for a pull in the car, right? And trust me, it was a great vibe. He did a closeout on the Ultra, but as you can see, the audio isn't working again. I'm going to get this sorted out and rectified, but until next episode, big up to everybody out there in Blogland.